Welcome back to the Wolf Among Us episode 3 walkthrough part number 1. So I've done all the previous last two episodes, so go and check those out on my channel. I do like leaving links and stuff in the description and stuff like that. Um, but otherwise, let's go straight into episode 3. Keep those likes and shares and comments and stuff coming in. If you want to see the next part nice and quickly, hit the like button and I'll definitely try and do that as quick as I can. So let's jump straight into episode 3, where I'll hopefully recap, because it's been a long time since the last one. I think the last one was in February, so quite a while ago. So looking forward to this. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? It's Crane. Ooh, she so found out it was Crane in the last episode. And I think we're about to jump straight back into it. Oh, the wolf is angry. <laughs> He's very, very angry. Dum, 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 dum. Right. That piece of shit. That motherfucking piece of shit. Crane? Ugh. God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... <laughs> oh, Bigby, Whoa, calm Bigby's down. can't get a little bit too tense. Everything's going to be fine. Snow's okay? in danger. It's Crane might follow you with her. Someone please I explain Snow. this to me. I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay. Right now. It's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Bigby! Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful when you tell her. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. I guess that does make sense. <laughs> He's gonna run in there, show the picture, shove it in her face and get sort of angry-ish, maybe. So it seems like um, Beastly is also um, having a drink as well now, which is probably not good. Promising leads, got an achievement. Woo! I hope we're in the right area. Right, I think I finally get to control this. <laughs> I can hear snow in the background. Hunter. Dumpster rentals, okay. There's candles about as well. Paula Polly. Oh, we're here. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as well, you can it will never subside. But I also know the that, that the this? memory of Lily will sustain as well. Offering table. And it will, in time, 
equal in strength to our mourning her loss. I'll miss worrying about you. And it is in that you. spirit that I'd like to talk fights. about what I'll you've miss all you. been so grateful to share with Holly. me. Your mm -hmm. memories of her. How she could be stubborn and... Now you will never die from indifference. Thoughtful. Or lead How a she carried a torch life. for the old ways. Goodbye, sweetheart. For tradition. For Thanks for everything. Pageantry. Vivian. And most of all... It Some seems nice cards. How about this? What's this? Loved, Billy Goat. Dearly Lilica. loved her friends and family. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. Been, oh, have we done I this never one? met Lily. A note from what I've been told. You were a big, know, bright, heart, shining star. She would have in liked this to be here. Shithole of a town. And now we'll I have miss you already. Moment of silence. Grand. Thank you. No, nice cards and stuff though. Right, let's go up here. I think the service is now done. I hope. Can you speak to her now? Igby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Crane's a prick. Holly. <laughs> gonna be okay. Crane's a fucking prick, so exactly. this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. Yes, this actually one I isn't do. on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Ooh. Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us. Right now. I came here to talk to Snow about this. No, screw that. My sister's dead, and I don't give a shit who she looked like when it happened. It's not about her. It's about Lily. Just tell us who it was. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? I'm not just gonna sit here Please, and... Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but... Just let us do our jobs first. Be patient. Well, try to be. Look. Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? I just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. So at least we can speak to Snow now. About bloody Crane. There's Glenn. <laughs> okay, you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? Crane murdered Lily. Hey, Crane's hey. obsessed with you. Snow, Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... Just I... listen to me for a second, alright? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... you know. He replays your story over and over again. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're 
sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. We'd get kicked out of Fable Town for messing all of this up so badly. I thought you trusted me more than that. I do, but you've got a hot head and a big heart, and sometimes that's not the best combination. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. I think that's the wise decision. I'm not sure if I should have shown the picture as well. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? Um... No. Yeah, thanks. I, uh, Can't really say much more. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, I'm not giving anything away yeah, yet. Uh, coming! I could have said it was cranes, but I was like, eh, don't do that. New book of fables entries unlocked. Constable? What the hell? Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. Now is really not the time for whatever you Jagovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. I right to. now. <sighs> so what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? You think I'm scared? Fine, it's a deal. Speak your mind, fastly now. What's it gonna be? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not- What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, I'm gonna rip what these guys is he heads off. About? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? Do you stop this shit? Settle down, settle down now. Stop this shit. Right now. He hasn't exactly been a good sport about oh, this. Oh man, don't do this. Not making our lives any easier. Oh, poor you. What's that? Oh god. What did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't- I'll handle this. Holly, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna kill you! That is one of the worst things I had for. I got a freaking death wish. Holly. Oh, shit. Holly. What the hell? No, he just shot. He shot Holly. I got it done. Get the gun. Get the fucking gun. Get the fucking gun. No. No! No! Get the gun! I hit him! Punch him! Oh my god! They're both dead! Oh, I got shot as well! How'd they get away with that? Oh, it's like a sort of semi wound. Oh my god, no. She's not dead as well, is she? Surely. Well, I don't go well. <laughs> Lost my uh, 
I believe so. Well, that's a freaking intro. So I've heard this episode is one of the best episodes from Telltale ever, so you can look forward to this. Couldn't wait. This intro, this intro is so cool as well. It sums up this game so well. And I just love the art style in this game. I just cannot wait to get into this episode. Mm. I, I wish it was more monthly. I wish it was put like one every month or something. Or one every two weeks. It takes so long. Sometimes I sort of forget the story a little bit as well. It is such a long, long time between each, each episode. But looking forward to uh, progressing with this. So keep those likes and stuff coming as much as possible. Episode 3. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it. They're fine. Oh. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. At least they're still alive. They're titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. <laughs> Everything in moderation. Frying punches and stuff. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. Eat more chicken, wolf. Right then. Very good. Lucky him. I wonder where Crane is at this stage. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? Okay, this is awkward. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. Sounds like a good plan to me. But, I, I don't know. That's the plan? Just wait for the mirror? <laughs> wait it's for all the we have work. right now. Man. Could take ages. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's sure. just... Seems a bit of place, doesn't it? You are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But Ew. murdering prostitutes? Doesn't sound like him. Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Oh, Nothing no. to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. Any time. Oh yeah, a bit of flag on there. Sexual tension. Oh. Can I um ask you a question? Oh, this could be personal. It's kind of personal. No, oh, it is personal. <laughs> and I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. What's on your Why? mind, Snow? What's on your mind? It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. What? Because Doesn't it gives right. you an excuse to just, you know, Stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. 
Okay. She doesn't seem like she believes me very well. Uh, guys? I don't know. I think he does. Problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Oh, crap. He's taken a piece, isn't he? What do you mean, missing a piece? Crane must yes, have taken it. God damn it. Uh, Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. Uh, I saw boat. Crane <laughs> pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What's the what hard exactly way? is the hard way? Go we'll look through myself. his things, his desk, everything. He had yeah. to have left something that tells us where he's going. So try and find some clues. Never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. <laughs> Good point. We can still solve this ourselves. I know Never that. Never mind that. Come help me look. Snow seems like really angry at this stage. Like she doesn't really believe me or trust Bigsby at all. I don't know. It's a little bit awkward. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode. Smack it with a like if you want to see more today or very soon indeed. Thank you for watching this episode though. Have a good pleasant day. And I cannot wait to see how this uh, progresses. So the episodes are quite short, not about an hour, hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes. So not very long at all. So it'll be quite a short little series until, obviously, until the, the next episode comes out. Hopefully the next next month or two. Um, there's, five, there's five episodes. I've done the previous two already on YouTube as well. So go and watch those. Subscribe if you're new. Check me out on Twitter at Game Rights Army. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.